ikut sa inyo sa pamamagitan ng magaganda at piling-piling programa mula lunes hanggang linggo. Aaliwin kayo ng aming kilalang mga komentarista at public service program. Ito lamang sintila ng TWTL. The proceeding program expresses only the opinions and views of its respective block timer, producer, radio announcer, writer, and production staff and does not in any way reflect the views of this station. The station has advised the programmers to abide by broadcast laws and KBP rules. Every Saturday, 1 to 2 p.m., let's all listen to your TDJ Perez, the professional safety and skills advocate on air. All About Safety is brought to you by JLF Projects International Inc. Experience and skilled people handling your sensitive and expensive machinery. They do rigging, lifting, trading, and transport your equipment safe and economical. If you think safety is expensive, try an accident. Or you can call on them at j.ferrer at jlftransport.com.ph or 0917-862-4995. Hello, good afternoon. It's your T2J once again and all about safety. And guess you know it, mga kababayan, I'm back in the booth. I'm back again on air after three years. And we promise to you a very well, educational and I think very timely for the country like the Philippines who's prone to a lot of uh, disasters. Okay, let's go ahead with the show. huh? Our first guest is uh, Engineer Rene G. Doria. He's a Master's of uh, Structural Engineering. He's a Certified Financial Analyst. He graduated BS Math from BYU Hawaii Magna Cum Laude, MS uh, Statistics or Master's in Statistics, BYU, uh, Structural Engineering, University of Utah, Investment Analyst CFA Chapter, a holder of uh, statistics and higher education for 30 years and served full-time as a Latter-day Saint mission in the Philippines. He took a second master's degree to fulfill his desire to build disaster-resilient social housing in the Philippines. Brother Rene, uh, Doria, good afternoon po. Good afternoon. Our second guest is uh, an American. That's why, mga kababayan, I'm talking in English. Huh? <laughs> he is a uh, master's in real estate. He is a realtor. Um, he is a bachelor in science human resource from also from Brigham Young University, Hawaii, in 1987. He is also an information systems um, graduate. Also from the same school, Brigham Young University, 1986. And uh, Diablo Valley College, uh, Pleasanton, California, 1985. Um, he is a, uh, in community services for closures. So he assists homeowners in order to provide uh, foreclosures. He is also a volunteer of the, or a board member of the Kahuku. Community Association Board of Directors in Hawaii, which responsibilities includes affordable housing projects and community growth management. He is a volunteer scoutmaster working with boys from 12 to 17 years of age. He's a three years volunteer of the LDS or the Latter day Saints Employment Resource Center, responsible for teaching and coaching others to uh, locate employment after being displaced or wanting to upgrade their careers. He's a volunteer career workshop instructor. He's a volunteer full-time missionary for 18 months, a four years volunteer spirit work counselor, and a volunteer bishop for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and a volunteer for the United States Army for eight years. None other than Mr. Paul A. 
Staples. Thank Bye, you Paul. so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, I think the that introduction goes on and on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, <about> that. <laughs> but anyways, when you have good men, they have a lot of expertise. They have a lot of experience. They have a lot to share. And the program says all about safety. Puro po tayo rito kalikasan. So tagal is po tayo. So we would go now. Ang ating pong topic is structural insulated panels. So yung mga tatanungin natin yan, pwede kayo magtanong mamaya ano. Uh, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng structural insulated panels? Yung mga safety officer dyan, yung mga engineers na gusto nyong malaman ang bago innovative product ito ang ating element. So tanungin na natin sila, no? Uh, Engineer Rene uh, Doria, ano ba yung MGO, Structural Insulated Panel, so SIP? Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? What is, was, it, was it for? Yung MGO stands for Magnesium Oxide. It's actually a third generation structural insulated panels. Okay. Siguro, let me start first with uh, explaining what is structural insulated panels. It is actually made of structural component on the outside, which we call skin. And then in the middle, it is a styrofoam and glued together that forms like shear walls. Uh -huh. So this, they usually come in uh, four by eight by uh, six inches or different thickness, depending on the specs of the building, if you only are building one story, uh, you can control what the thickness would be or two stories or three stories high. The structural insulated panels is actually, it started in the United States. Okay. Uh, DuPont, which is a chemical company, actually first introduced structural insulated panels where they actually form the sandwich panels in 1932. Wow. So this, this technology has been available since 1932, but it only became commercially available in 1960, where they started building many of these homes in Alaska, because Alaska, it was so cold. Uh -huh. And with this structure, because of the styrofoam inside, it provides really high R value mm -hmm. to for the people living in these homes. So they can save a lot in healing utilities. Mm -hmm. And it has been shown that so many research shown that you could actually save heating or cooling cost when you live in this type of uh, in structural insulated panel homes. Okay. I would like now to ask Paul, right? So more or less you've been a realtor. Mm -hmm. You've been in this business of building houses. What is your experience in relation to this uh, structural insulated panels? Well, Renee and I did a lot of research after Hurricane um, Typhoon Yolanda hit. Typhoon Yolanda. Uh, yes, yes. We started, uh, started doing research and we found out there were members of our church that were homeless Mm -hmm. because of the typhoon so we we started to research uh, structural insulated panels and we found out that they're resistant to earthquakes fires uh high winds i mean you know mold mildew all these things we found out and we contacted a developer of this panel and we made a a deal with him and we got enough panels to build two homes in um Tacloban. Wow. And so we we took 15 Boy Scouts from America with our SIP panels the mm -hmm. first time. And we were able to train not only the boys, but the some members of the community and built two units up and down uh, in less than two days. Uh, so the members of the of our church that lost their homes were able to help them get back into a disaster resistant home in less than two days and that home still stands today and renee has the statistics on how many earthquakes typhoons that home has been in and it's very interesting and he'll probably share that later yeah more or less i would just like to talk 
in Filipino for so more. Yeah, that's fine. Para sa akin mga kababayan, so nakikita niyo po no, there is this thing right now o yung pagkakapwa tao no. Nakita ng mga Amerikano at Pilipino Amerikanong ito na kailangan nilang tumulong. Diyan pa pala to sa Bagyong Yolanda, di ba? Marvin, ikaw ba alam mo ba yung Bagyong Yolanda kung gaano karaming taong pinahirapan niyan, di ba? Napakaraming pinano yan. So, ito ay parte po ng safety. Bakit tayo gagawa ng bahay na pag niyanig na, eh wala na. Bakit tayo gagawa ng bahay na pag uh, na-expose sa apoy, no? Eh masusunog na. Ang sabi nga nila, this is fire resistant uh, thing, no? So, babalikan natin ngayon si engineer in the door sa kanyang pagiging structural engineer. Ano yung masasabi niya pa tungkol dito sa in terms of resistance niya? Ganun po, Engineer Dore, ano pong masasabi niya pa? Kasi sa for yung perspective ng structural engineers, ang pinaka ultimate test ng strength ng isang type ng materials mm. is on a shake table test. Ano po yung shake table test? Yung shake table test is malaking, this is like A, a huge table where you actually build the model home. Okay. And then through computer, you could actually simulate what type of earthquake, like it can be the the Kobe Japan earthquake or the California Loma Linda earthquake. So it could be simulated, let's say, based on an intensity six, In, intensity seven. It, po ba? That's right. It can be simulated based on intensity. It can be simulated based on the type of earthquake where it came from mm -hmm. either the US, Japan, Afghanistan or anywhere so that you could simulate how destructive this earthquake would be okay and shake table test is the ultimate test for any materials because once you put it there eventually it will be destroyed because that's mm -hmm. the intent of the shake table test mm -hmm. except in all in all of the shake table tests that I have seen that I, as a researcher in seismic, there's only one material that did not collapse. Okay. And that is this. And that is the structural insulated, insulated panel. panels. Ang nasira is the shake table test because they, <laughs> they never tested anything above eight gravitational force. And let me just give you in perspective what it is. And one gravitational force mm. is equivalent to intensity nine. One. That's it. One. That's, and intensity nine is the highest intensity ever recorded in the history of man. Wow. But intensity nine, yung mga incidents historically, lahat ng mga structures po collapse. Mm -hmm. Itong testing na ginawa, 8G. Ang nag-survive, hindi nasira, walang screws na nag-pop out. Ang nasira niya is the shake table test. Okay. Kaya they have to stop the testing because of that. Wow. Before I go to you, Paul, I would just like to make a comment here. Uh, engineer Ernesto Bumbay, structural engineer, professor, De La Salle University. Pare ko, baka, baka po pwede natin ma, ano to, maturo to sa inyong uh, mga eskwela, ano, sa ano, kasi Napakagaling, you know? I really, just by chance nga lang, nakilala ko si Engineer Doria, no? na isang structural engineer. At ngayon, nandito na siya. So, I would go now to Paul, who's really in uh, Hawaii, that's it, from Hawaii. Uh, aloha, Paul. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul, have, when you first knew this kind of uh, structure, uh, structural insulated panels, what struck you to be involved in? What, what, what passion or what thing that made you say I am going for this kind of revolutionary product well it, it was it was a matter of research because we we really wanted to help the Filipinos okay. uh, my wife is a Filipina and mm -hmm. when I first got here you know I just saw the condition of the poor people mm -hmm. and they're the ones that really suffer uh, when you have a typhoon and they're you know they you know they have a hard time going to the government personal family members and you know they have a hard time uh, so i was really intrigued by how fast we can build these homes and we we proved it in tacloban and it was just heart touching for me to be involved because as a real estate broker in hawaii 
I, you know, it's traditional to give someone a key to their new house. Okay. Uh, but over here, it, it means more when someone had just lost their house and mm -hmm. you built a brand new house for them and then you give them access to that house. So that was very touching for me. And it just, it was, uh, it, it was revolutionary for me to really be involved in helping the Filipino people. And my goal nine years ago was to come to this country and to see if we can have this country be the hub for the world's strongest homes that are affordable. So we're, we're, we're on the right track right now. We have a manufacturing here. We're producing this stuff in Bulacan right now. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, we have a, uh, how many square meters? <laughs> 10,000 square meters, 9,000 that oh, are okay. manufacturing. So it's 1,000. 1,000. Yeah, meters. yeah. So we have, I, I get confused with meters and inches and stuff, but Renee is always there. Um, so we have a manufacturing now where we can produce this, these structural insulated panels, or we call them SIPs for short, S-I-P-S, mm -hmm. SIPs. So we can produce it here, and we've invited architects, engineers, um, Contractors, they're all welcome to schedule a, uh, you know, a uh, uh, tour of our manufacturing. That's great. But before we continue this uh, very um, informative interview, I would like to give way to people uh, who are making our show as our clock. It's exactly 1.16 in the afternoon, and the hour is brought to you by JLF Project International, Inc. If you want riggers, transport, uh, heavy lift, rigging, you just call on JLF Project International Inc. and they'll be there for you. For expensive, sensitive machinery, call on JLF Project International Inc. If you also want some training on safety, skills on forklift, crane, rigging, truck, uh, you want to go abroad, call on JLF Project uh, Training and Assessment Center. Siya po lang ang mga nandiyan dyan, yan ang dalawa. At of course po, ang ating pong programang All About Safety with uh, Brad Pitt. Malapit na ang Pasko, so baka gusto nyo ng mga show dyan. Pupunta tayo dyan sa inyong mga planta, bahay. Uh, pupunta si Ginoong Brad Pitt na para bigyan kayo ng kaligayahan ng mga bagong joke. So, back ulit tayo sa programa natin. Ano? So, Ito palang endeavor na to, it started out as a charity when you said na there was Yolanda, these people were homeless. Mm -hmm. And then you saw the SIPs to be uh, innovation na pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Ngayon, may tanong ako bilang isang nag-aral din ng engineering. Paano po yung foundation? Kasi bo, ano lang to eh, pa paano po yung foundation na Engineer Doria? Ang foundation niya is similar to a traditional foundation. We design foundation based on the weight that it's mm. going to carry. Iko compare mo kasi yung weight ng concrete sa ka weight nitong structural insulated panels. It is 14, concrete is 14 times heavier. 14 times. 14 times. So if you're going to design a foundation, a footing, you have to design it heavier meaning larger footing and mm. larger sizes of rebars compared to this. So because it's lightweight, the foundation is actually, you spend less on the foundation because it's less dimensions, less sizes, lower sizes of rebars. But more than that, structural insulated panels, like what I have mentioned, can withstand earthquakes over intensity nine. Wow. Well, when, when you look at what happens, all the earthquakes that happens recently in, in Turkey, uh, Afghanistan, uh, uh, going back several years ago, Christchurch, lahat ng mga building nila is reinforced concrete, and yet none of them survived. Kahit they followed the code to build it, when earthquake comes, you cannot predict because all the shaking of this concrete will not be able to withstand lateral forces or shaking forces. Okay. So 
or the Brad, the technical, si Brad Pitt daw is live. Pwede ba natin makasama si Brad Pitt? And uh, he would be able to enter so he could be able to be in the studio also. Pero habang ginagawa natin yan, ba, nabigyan natin ng link kasi Brad Pitt nandito ako sa studio eh. Batiin ko lang uh, watching is uh, Ethel Pacunla, si Cherry Patino, Jisa Miklat. Si watching also, I, I think this is a Japanese. Yoshi Yamamoto. Uh, Harigato. Also, Engineer JP Batan. Good afternoon, sir, for watching. Watching from Dubai, uh, Bino Aliado. Uh, watching from Bulacan, uh, Marian Domingo Liwanag. Um, magandang hapon. Brad Pitt. Kamusta? Nakikita ka na namin. Meron tayo rito, Brad Pitt, mga Amerikano from Hawaii, si Paul Staples. Hi! Hi Hello. to you. Welcome to All About Safety. Actually, And kanina pa ako. Engineer Rene Doria, also a Filipino-American. Hi! Brad Pitt, Hello, sir. Engineer. Brad Pitt, ang pinag-uusapan namin, meron bagong produkto. Meron bagong produkto sila na earthquake resistant, fireproof, Parang wall ito eh, no? Na may yeah. insulation na hindi basta-basta na susunog. Na pag tinesting daw, sabi nga ng engineer Doria na isang structural engineer, kaya na i-withstand ng uh, intensity 9. So, anong wow. gusto mong tanongin dito sa mga gwapo nating guests? Uh, sir, uh, ano ba yan? Yan din yung ano, tinatawag na prefab? O oh, iba yon Well, some people call it prefabricated, but it's actually, Pre, yeah. it's it's different than prefab. It's more on, ang tawag talaga rito, technically, it's called shear walls. Now, they come in as already completed walls, 4 by 8, yung 4 feet by 8 feet, 4 feet by 10 feet, at different than sizes. Mag-headset ba sila para madinig nila? Okay na? And, so, more, kasi tinitignan ko rin kung... Brad Pitt, ganito Brad pala pag nasa studio after 3 years, wala tayo eh. Di ba? Pero... Kailan ang headset? Eh, okay, ngayon. Monitor. Hindi ko na nga alam kontrolin itong panel, pare. Nahirapan <laughs> ako kanina, nag-feedback pa eh. So, going on, yung sinabi ni Engineer Doria, ito eh, explain ko lang, nilalagay mo sa pagitan ng parang mga plywood ba ito? No? It's actually, it replaces kung kung ginagamit mo yung reinforced concrete or yung hollow blocks, mm. instead of using them, you use this to build a house. Okay. So, And then you put cement. Like so, go ahead, Paul. Uh, you could explain. Brad Pitt is uh, the number one uh, in English in uh, University of Santo Tomas. Uh, he is a uh, very good guy uh, in his English classes, in journalism and in mass communication. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just R Renee was explaining uh, how to build with it. I was just giving the analogy of it's like building with a, a Lego set, uh, Lego blocks, and they they come together like like Lego blocks, and it's it's a panelized system. They're they're panels that go together. But Renee really knows a lot about it because he's designed many many of our buildings and our CRs for public schools here. So I'll let, I'll let him finish. Anong material ito? Anong material? At anong material? Uh, it, no, it's yung panel po. It's called magnesium oxide board. It's equivalent of dito sa Philippines familiar kayo sa hardy flex, di ba? Mm, that hardy is, flex, uh, oh, yeah. That's a fiber cement, but hardy flex kasi it's it's actually it's brittle. No, it breaks. Uh, oh, when, man, madali pag when, when you sinipa it, mo yung butas yun eh. Mm -hmm. Ito magnesium oxide, it's also a type of cement, but it's not based on Portland cement. It's based on a magnesium cement, and based on the uh, properties of this, this is magnesium oxide cement is considered green material. That mm -hmm. It does not destroy the uh, emit when you produce this. Mm -hmm. you, you, it does not emit the carbon footprint that Portland cement Uh, produces. So it saves the environment a lot. It's environmentally friendly. Kaya it's considered a green material in the United States. And then in the middle of it is the styrofoam that acts as the uh, 
insulation, insulation for the house. Yeah. Paul, you like to add something? That, yeah, well, uh, um, may I ask? Uh, may I ask? Yeah. Uh, is magnesium, magnesium oxide available locally or do we import that material? No, it's not available material? locally. It's not even available in the United States. So everything, uh, but we already have our uh, resources where we get this and so uh, we could provide this and bring this in the Philippines. But this is the only materials that we import, but the rest are, are produced here in the Philippines. The Philippines and even the United States do not have magnesium deposit. Okay. Pero maganda rito, Brad Pitt, ano, kung yung bahay mo, bahay ko, magiging fireproof. Kasi meron si video, they've shown me like uh, uh, ano ni Paul, no? There is, yung tinotorch yung ano, yung wall eh. Hindi nasusunog eh. Tsaka meron nga raw silang testing. Ano ulit testing? Paano yun rin? Shake table, shake table test. Shake table test up to intensity 9. Ang nasira daw yung shake table tester. Hindi yung produkto nila. So, sabi ko nga, all about safety, maybe maging guest sila dito. Kaya yung naging... Ano ang maganda na. dyan, ang maganda dyan, uh, you can build the house in just, ang sabi nila kanina, two days. Yun ang maganda ron, yung time na to yeah. build the We're house. That, nga, diba yung, we built this 13 years ago sa Tacloban, after okay. the Yolanda. So, mm. part of our humanitarian effort, we just wanted to show that you can actually build an affordable, disaster resilient home. So, we build this, and this home is still standing there after wow. 13 years. It has gone through over 30 major earthquakes, ranging from intensity 6 to 7.8. It's not affected at all. Typhoons, over 400 typhoons in the last. 13 years, nothing bothered it. No, it's still intact and people can actually see it. People live in it and the the people who are actually staying in it one time told me that what every time when hurricanes or typhoon comes in the area, all of the people actually evacuate and go to a safer place except his family. They stay in the house. Mm -hmm. Because they have experienced that nothing will happen to them when typhoon comes. This is very good for uh, government housing project, I think. Correct. Lahat, yeah. pati sa bahay mo. Kasi ngayong bibiro mo, yeah. uh, as sinabi okay. nga kanina ni Paul, ano, he okay. only went here when he saw the destruction na nangyari doon sa Yolanda. So, mga volunteer sila eh, ng uh, simbahan ng Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, no? mga uh, tawag ng iba, LDS. So, Mormon. tinulungan nila yung mga tao doon, paano nga makagawa ng bahay na, ayun na, syempre, donation nga nila eh. Ngayon nga, eh, they wanted to explore more. Eh, by the way, si, nakalimutan ko kanina, pa sabihin, si, Engineer Rene Doria na structure niya. Siya ang presidente Brad Pitt ng uh, Archipelago 7000. So oh. I was discussing with them na baka po pwede ng JLF project maging dealer o baka mamaya eh tumabo itong mga to ng taksang-taksang money, di ba? Eh, kamitin kang uli na kasasabi ko lang kanina na kung meron kayong mga Christmas program, dadaling kayo ni Brad Pitt ng panibagong ano na saya, di ba? Dala-dala na yung ukulele. Pare, isang ang baksak dyan ng iyong ukulele ulit. Ang Pasko ay sumapit Tayo ay mag-iawit Dahil lang. Ang galing. Pero baka may, baka may, baka may giga brother, uh, baka mamay mo, busan na. Alam mo kasi marami pa ako itatanong. Baka merong gig yeah, si Brad Pitt mamaya. Mga show yeah, sa uh, Hard Rock. Meron ka ba? Wala pa, wala pa. Ina-announce ko lang. Eh, ito. Uh, si, para okay. kaya Engineer Rene Doria. 
Alam mo, KJ, may mga kapitbahe kami nung araw dyan sa Pandakan, baka kamag-anak nila yan. Mga Doria <laughs> dyan sa Pandakan. Sige na, ikaw rin eh. Kami yun. Lumaki ako sa Pandakan. Ah! Ako ano yung si pinapunso doon sa mga Doria. Oh! Ano mo si Romy? Kuya mo si Romy? Yan, brother ko yun. Yan ang older brother oh, ko. Oo. Natatanda ko kita. Sabi ko na eh. Ako, taga Gonzales kami. Mga Salvador dyan sa harap niyo. Oh, okay, yes. Yung yes. Yung yes. Salvador. Oh. Oh, small world. Sabi ko na eh. Small world. So, yeah. tanungin ko na no, dyan, ano yan eh, Jana. Sa sinid Jana. Oo, oh, na lang sa Jana. Bago na sunog. Yan, oh. si Yes. Uh, mga Salvador kami actually eh na- okay. naalala ko mga Doria nila sa Gonzales magkaroon ko din no ikaw to ba yung Doria ng magaling magbasketball ni mama yes ano? oh si Romy ito yung mga yun di ba ito si ano taga ito yung magaling magbasketball ito yung magaling magbasketball <laughs> kasi napapanood ko nga ito siguro <laughs> uh, kasi pare-pareho tayo you know Paul we are uh, I would just be the news so you know my my relative here or my you know countrymen would be able to understand you know paul we came from the same area before but we hardly knew each other brad pitt was from there maybe renee's from here i was down here at the very end you know and we met at all about safety would you imagine that paul wow. <laughs> it's wonderful welcome boys <laughs> Naalala ko na nga pala ito nga yung magagaling sa basketball. Kasi pag may uh, intercolor, di ba? O yung interbarangay yeah. yun, di ba? Yan ang ano eh. Sabi, sabi ko nga, uh, Brad Pitt, doon ka sa may... Pero doon yeah. nakilala ka pa, doon ka na sa may central eh. Oo, oh, sa Narciso. Narciso. Eh, ang mga Dorias, ay, mga naglalaro yan pagka may intercolor doon sa hilo. Alam niya yan. Yung, <laughs> yung, yung utol niya, si Raul, yun ang kaibigan mo? De Romy. Si Romy. Ah, si Romy. Ay, Ayun, Romy. Matangkad. Oh, kasi malamang si Scooter yan. Matangkad yeah. kasi ito si Rene. Yeah, he's so yes, sick. yes. Matangkad si Romy. Mm-hmm. Yan, naalala niya. <laughs> Small world. Pero, <laughs> bago tayo magpatuloy, eh, po-promote natin muna no, yung ating uh, show, no? Uh, alauna 31 na po, 1.31 in the afternoon and this hour is brought to you by JLF Project International Inc. Experience riggers, uh, creating contractors, transport contractors, and if you think safety is expensive, try an accident. So e, tayo po ngayon <laughs> sa safety because our product is uh, SIPS. Ang bagong-bago po nilaman natin na Structural Insulated Panel. So calling all the architects, contractors, uh, civil engineers, structural engineers the Philippines, o kahit po mga homeowners, no? kung ang bahay nyo, eh, you wanted it safe, you wanted it fire resistant, you wanted it, uh, sabi kasi ni Engineer Dore, cheaper. Eh. O kaya ikaw, Brad Pitt, pagka kumita ka dyan sa mga talent pi mo, gusto mong palakihin yung bahay mo pa dyan. Eh, ito na, kakilala na natin ng producer. Baka bigyan ka na boy. discount. <laughs> Pandakang boy. Pandakang connection. Yes. Pandakang uh, connection. Right. So, tatanungin ko lang ulit, ha, Brad Pitt, ha, para ano, din magtanong ka. Anong difference naman ito, uh, Engineer Doria and uh, Brother Paul, um, compared to the ordinary hollow block or what we call CHB? Ano po ang difference yan? Okay, let me. Take it back. Ang Philippine vo, uh, Philvox nagpublish ng ng testing. Actually, they did a shake table test mm-hmm. of the traditional hollow block structure mm-hmm. available sa YouTube. Yun. If you just search for Philvox uh, hollow blocks shake table test, lalabas mm-hmm. na yon. Makikita ninyo dito sa shake table testing na to ang Earthquake force niya lang, it's about intensity 7 or 0.8 G, gravitational force. In less than one minute, nagbagsaka na agad yung, yung model house nila. Less than one minute, nagbagsaka na. So, compared to oh. nasa YouTube yun to, yung, yung inter, structural insulated panels, shake table testing na ginawa sa US, umabot siya ng eight gravitational force. Kaya nga sinabi ko nung una, ang nasira 
is the shake table test. Walang nangyari ever in the history of shake table testing sa United wow. States na nag-survive sa shake table test. Uh, kaya it's amazing. This is an amazing product. I built a home in, in Utah made of this. Uh, ah. So yun, biro mo, pare, kung meron lang akong pera uli, no? If I would have a house again, Paul, yeah, which uh, Marvin here would help me and design it, di ba? Kasi, I've seen the video, next time may sishare ko sa'yo, Brad Pitt, ano? Ba, yes, ano? yes. Sino sunog eh? Sino sunog eh? Sino sunog eh? Hindi, tsaka ang mas maganda dyan, uh, compare sa Halo Blocks, yung bigat niya, sir, yung bigat niya, 14 times sa halo blocks pa. Yeah, ang ang pag ang halo blocks lagyan mo na ng ng cemento and and rebars. It's 14 times heavier. 14 times. Oh, yeah, kaysa dito. Yes. Kaya uh, it's lightweight. It's called light lightweight construction materials. Uh, sir, nasubukan niyo na ba yung Nasubukan niya na sa building na uh, mataas, siguro mga 10 floor or ano? No, ang, sa, sa United States, uh, we could build a home like my home. I, I built my home. Uh, it's a three-story home using mm -hmm. SIPs. Three stories, walang, walang columns or beams. Yung flooring is the same materials, also SIPs. Yung roof is the same materials, also wow. structural insulated panels. Mm -hmm. Kaya, in terms of yung utilities, I'm actually saving 50 to 60% less than yung wow. compared to yung mga kapitbahay namin sa utilities. Pero walang, uh, walang sabi mo, walang column, walang post. Walang columns, walang beams, panay, ito lang panels na ito. Kayang-kaya niyang isupport ang three stories high. Eh, yung tanong nga ni Brad Pitt, paano kung 10-story building? Yung 10-story building, hindi, hindi pwedeng gumawa ka ng 10-story. So, as engineer, we can design it using either structural steel. Kung oh, I mean, ipapa, yeah. ipapalaman mo yun ang La, wall mo lang. Like, we're, we're doing a project sa Dumaguete. It's, uh, it's a university. They already built the, the structure uh, five stories high. Mm -hmm. Ang kinakailangan nila dahil when they cost it out na yung mga hollow blocks dapat ang mga yung partition walls nila but then when we gave them the pricing and they compared it dun sa pricing ng completing using hollow blocks they found out na we're actually cheaper because it takes time yung to to use hollow blocks for example kung gagawa ka ng 8 by 8 8 feet by 8 feet na hollow blocks ano mm. wall itong ganitong wall okay 8 by 8 Una, kinakailangan mo ng foundation. Mas mabigat yung foundation. Tapos, maglalagay ka ng columns, both sides. Tapos, maglalagay ka ng beam. So, yung mga rebars niyan, yung mga forms niyan. Tapos, lalagyan mo ng hollow blocks. Yung hollow blocks, lalagyan mo ng cemento. Lalagyan mo ng rebars. Tapos nun, papalatadahan mo, finish it. So, it will take yung 8 feet by 8 feet will take 3 weeks bago matapos bago matapos ito in 5 minutes isang wall another 5 minutes the other wall in 10 minutes <laughs> nakatayo na yung wow in the walls mo so so halimbawa Ayun, naman ano, yung, maganda eh no? pero bahay ni Brad Pitt by the house Brad Pitt's house is a three story building also mm -hmm. And this guy's rich, no, Paul? This guy's rich. He makes a lot of money. So it's a three-story house. My question, normally, if you have a rooftop, nagtutulo, there's leak. Once you put the struct uh, sips, would it be a waterproofing um, solution to? Ang magnesium oxide is a water-resistant material. However, okay. lahat ng structure naman, any material needs to be treated with some sort of waterproofing. Waterproofing. So, ang kagandahan lang nitong compared sa... Ang concrete kasi is, it's actually, if you look at it in a microscopic lens, mm -hmm. 
it's porous. Yung may mga holes yan. May mga butas. Yep. Right. Yes. And this only... the magnesium oxide, if you apply a water-resistant material on it, mm -hmm. it seals it. Now, we have recommendations on the different materials that need needed to be used on. So it can be actually a garden roof and you will not have a problem leaking if you follow our prescribed procedures on how mm. to do waterproofing on it. So that's my problem. I, I put some tiles on my roof deck and yeah. all of the sudden... Uh, what happened on my roof deck? Yeah. Uh, there were leaks, yeah, and right. it went down to the third floor, uh -huh. mm. and it went down to the second floor. So yeah. uh, I took all the tiles out, mm. and I'm planning to just put a roof on my roof deck, mm -hmm. so there will be no more leak. Baka ito ang uh, solution. So in lang, no? Yeah, it, it's it's actually compared to a concrete uh, roof. Mm -hmm. This is actually easier and cheaper to actually make it waterproof. And we will provide the information on that uh, for those who would like to ask us. It's, we don't produce it. It's a third party that we use to make this, the seal, the waterproofing of our materials. Ang uh, ano also, uh, Brad Pitt, meron ba tatanong muna bago ako magtanong? Ganda niyan. Ha? Maganda kasi nga eh, kasi nakikita ko yung, uh, yeah. yung mura na and then uh, applicable ba. May tanong pa ako eh kasi ngayon, di ba Brad Pitt, lahat ng mga tao ngayon, instead na gumawa ng structure, bumibili na lang ng container, tapos kinakat niya na yung oh, container, ma. pinagdidikit-dikit yes. para maano. Yes. Eh, maka ito maging alternative. Yeah. Yeah, kasi yung problema yung container ito mainit eh lalagyan mo pa rin ng insulation. If you want to live in a container house, okay. you need to put insulation on it. So a container itself is not livable because whatever is the temperature outside through yung uh, steel will actually transfer that heat mm -hmm. inside. Kaya yeah. maraming yung mga stowaway na mamatay when they, they actually hide in these containers. From Okay, that's very, very nice again, you know. Paul, um, we really, you know, we, we Brad Pitt and I, and even I think majority of us in the Philippines never knew. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would like to add something to uh, I, Renee said he built this house in Utah. I built a house in Hawaii. I, I did an owner builder, uh, and I'm not a contractor, you know, but from my experience in Tacloban, I, I learned whatever with the Boy Scouts and the community, we, we all learned how to build a SIP home and we did it in two days. Uh, so so <laughs> there's there's two things I want to make sure that your audience understands. Uh, when you talk about cost, that's a big deal in the Philippines. OK, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, people are poor here. OK, so when you talk about SIPs and costs, you have to keep two things in mind. Um, first thing is that because the insulation is so good on it, you're going to save a lot of money in your air conditioning costs. Uh, it's just like, you know, just like walking in a big walk-in freezer. They have foam in there and they have a metal skin, but we use magnesium oxide boards or MGO. Okay. So you save a lot of money between 50 and 70% on your utility bills. That's another labor costs because you're building a home about 50 to 55 percent quicker now mm -hmm. you got to save on labor and it's an indestructible home basically uh, so when a typhoon comes you're not going to be rebuilding your home anymore so so it's, it's a generational home that you're building and you're doing it very quickly okay so well, that's very yeah. important to remember yeah I, let me mention also the but in the advertise for in the last 20 years, in the big one, the big earthquake yes. that is coming to Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. Since 2004, itong earthquake mitigation report published by FIBOX and JICA of Japan has re yung scenario nila, if the big one occurs, over 60,000 people will die in Metro Manila and 60% of the structure will collapse based on their prediction. 
And wow. for in the last 20 years, and, and recommendation nila dun sa report na yun, I, I do have that report. Re they recommended that the, the new homes that needs to be built has to be seismic or earthquake resistant homes. Mm -hmm. In the last 20 years, yun ang hindi natupad. No, you could practice on drills, on how to hide, but you cannot practice on your home withstanding the earthquake. Mm -hmm. So what we what we personally believe both factually and technically is that if you build your house using our structural insulated panels when the big one comes you can sleep it without worrying about your walls collapsing your floors collapsing killing your children or other people because this has been tested to withstand greater than intensity nine earthquake. And that is really unheard of. Yeah, I think I sent a video to your um, show here where we, and, and behold, we just built a uh, four story, we, we, four stall. Uh, let me, I should say this first. We, we have a nonprofit uh, and we built uh, public classrooms and CRs for the the schools here in the Philippines. Okay. It's called I Help, uh, I H H E L P P, and it stands for Improving Health, Housing, Education, Livelihood of the Poor in the Philippines. Okay. And they can go wow. to our website. Uh, Renee's wife is actually a Dr. Doria, and she she's the president of I Help. And she's very, very good on helping the local schools here. So this is a NGO, a non-governmental organization. Yes, but we have two organizations. So our, our wives are part of the uh, NGO. Uh, Renee and I run Archipelago uh, 7000, 7, and that's archipelago7000.com. Our wives, they run I help, which is I H H E L P P dot org. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can find a lot of information on those two websites and what we do. So we work very closely together because they're, they're our wives. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine, I could imagine uh, how wonderful your life is. <laughs> yeah. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is also, this wife is always communicating with uh, Annalie and we, and we have shows, but I would just like to correct you. Uh, Paul, when you say costing here is big, for Brad Pitt, uh, one million dollars is uh, chicken feed. <laughs> he does not care about if it's uh, two million dollars. This guy is a He's very fortunate. rich man, and no. he knows a lot of. Tama ba ako, Brad Pitt? No, no, huh? no. Ko no. naman, very <laughs> humble. Kajay, Kajay is a comedian. De, seriously, ah, maganda tong produkto ni ano, sir. Mga sir, baka kailangan niyo na endorser para ma-i-post natin to. Ito ka tayong ads. Hindi sinasabi ko. Di, bago yeah. ko pa na gano'n, sinasabi ko na endorser, Brad Pitt. Christmas party, <laughs> Brad Pitt. Kasi po, si yes, Brad Pitt. Hindi, not for personal game. Let the people know this product because ang dami niyang advantages than the normal ano, the yung kumbaga yung mga conventional way of building homes. The best to. And maraming matutulungan to. Pati sa gobyerno, sa mga housing project, mga school uh, houses, school buildings. Sana, ano, ma tap natin, kahit dito yung social media, social media, we can do right. ads to push this product, this very good product, na very, ano, sabi nyo nga, matibay, mas mura, and mas madaling gawin. Yun ang pinakamaganda eh, kasi pag nagpapagawa ka ng bahay, naiinip ka, sa tagal, matagal yan eh. But with <laughs> this one, para ka lang, one lang, na, Lego, para kang naglalaro. Di ba? Sir, sana, ano, usapan natin. Sayang, uh, 
kailangan nito awareness. Awareness ng produkto para sa mga tao. Yes. And pwede natin lapitan yung mga kunyari DepEd para for their projects. Na win-win situation yung gobyerno and uh, makers of this. Ayan, sila Engineer Doria and Bishop. Kasi Very mura, well yung ads ngayon, yung ads ngayon sa social media, oh, hal, libre lang yan actually. So, marami, mas maraming makakanood. And yun ang habol natin, awareness about the product of this very good uh, product para sa paggawa ng mga bahay and opisina later on. So, yun lang, mga sir. Congratulations sa sino. Sayang, ipos natin. Ipos natin. Mm-hmm. Meron ba kayong so, mga ads, engineer, Doria? Do you have ads? Do you have ads for this product? May may brochure kami. Merong we have prepared the brochure. Kasi no. <laughs> but ang nga is when pandemic hits in 2020. <laughs> so that's when we actually open and in in one week we have to close it down. So in the last oh. 4 years we've been closed except We've been doing our humanitarian effort, like uh, my friend Paul mentioned. We have built a lot of bathrooms all over the Philippines and classrooms using these materials. We forgot to mention Typhoon Odette in 2020. Paul, can you relate to them what happened to our uh, the buildings, the, the, the community toilets that we built? In yes. Bohol, when Typhoon Odette occurred. Sure, I, I have the video, so I can send that to uh, Jay as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, we we just did a humanitarian project in this uh, public school. We built four stall, a four stall re- CR, mm-hmm. and we we built it right before Odette hit the school. Mm-hmm. And so uh, so when her, when Typhoon Odette hit the whole school, uh, we have a um, um, amateur video of the devastation of the community, the school, and then they show the four-star restroom, CR, that was just built. Nothing happened to it. And so that was, that was, Odette was a Category 5 uh, Almost type like of, Yolanda Wind. Almost like Yolanda 100, Wind. 190, 195 <laughs> miles per hour, which is about 320 kilometers per hour. Yes, and and our and our restroom still was standing strong, so it was a testimony to all of us that yeah we can really talk about this now because we have the <laughs> we have the evidence. <laughs> well, that is very very good, uh, but I know. Uh, yeah, so yeah, go ahead. I may tanong lang ako mga sir. No? Is this product available sa mga local hardware or local? No. Some, lang. So we, it needs our engineering. Yes. You know, we cannot just, without training, uh, if they assemble this and they don't follow, we need to. They need our supervision, at least the guidelines that we we provide. And it can be done, and maybe in the future, we din na nating parang kung sa US yung kung may ibebenta sa Home Depot, pwede mong gamitin yon. Theoretically, kaya, pwede mong, kahit wala kang alam, pwede kang mag-build ng bahay just following our plans. And like what Brother Paul mentioned, like Lego, putting this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbered panels, as long as you don't interchange them and you follow the, the, the nailing pattern or screwing pattern, then it will be safe. But it requires some some guidelines on assembly mm-hmm. on our part. Yeah. yeah, what what we did in Dumaguete, there's a, a university there called Foundational University. Yeah. Uh, so Renee mentioned this already. So we, we, we made an agreement with them to sell our panels, but we also uh, highly recommended that they send one of our engineers 
to supervise and to train the the people there. So he he flew out from Qatar. Uh, he's one of our investors and also one of our engineers, and he trained uh, architects and engineers, and they they were really pleased that how easy it was to put it up. So they're trained now, and and that's kind of what we're what we're want to do is is to train people, educate people, so they don't take this product and just you know just do what they want to do with it. We want them to be safe mm -hmm. when when a typhoon comes. We, we really want the product to be something that they can look forward to being a safe product during times of disaster. So, uh, Jay, you know, you know, may mga engineering university. Actually, the structural, the design of structural insulated panels is not really taught yet in mm -hmm. universities, mm -hmm. even in universities. It's, it's a specialized uh, knowledge in structural engineering. It's just like base isolators. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't teach it. In, in universities, mm. but we're actually offering ourselves if if any engineering university, civil engineering, structural mm. engineering university here in the Philippines mm. would like to invite us, we are willing to come. You don't have to pay us. Mm -hmm. We just want to share this knowledge to the future engineers in the Philippines, nice. because what we're finding, the biggest challenge that we have is uh, even though Licensed engineers have done a lot of construction, but they're not familiar with structural insulated panels. How do you do the structural analysis on this? Mm -hmm. how, how do you know that it can support the three stories high or it can support the walls and the floor? Mm -hmm. And we're willing to offer our, our actually free services. Mm -hmm. We, we wow. can do a, 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 a lecture in any university, we can fly in there on our own expense and teach your students, your engineering students, how to design homes using structural insulated panels. Okay. You need to advertise so people may know about your product. Yeah, sayang, sayang. The awareness of this product should be widened. I think that's the name. Ayan. Awareness talaga. Kaya nga, yes, yes. number one, dito sila unang nag-guest, Brad Pitt. Hindi sila nag-guest po sa iba yung mga show. Sa all yeah. about safety. Kasi sabi ko nga, safety tong issue to eh. Yes. At mahirap. Yes. Pang mahirap. Uh, yeah. uh, hindi costly. Yeah. Kung and, we know about this technology 10 years ago or 20 years ago, baka yung mga bahay natin would have yeah, been made yeah, by a uh, structural uh, yeah. insulated uh, ano to, uh, panels. insulated uh, panels. <laughs> and, and, and maybe yung, yung listeners ngayon is yep. wondering, we keep saying this is uh, not costly. So magkano ba talaga ang, ang, if you're going to build a home using this? Because mm -hmm. I have talked to several contractors here in the Philippines already. Mm -hmm. Kung if we're going to use yung so binanggit mo yung government housing, we mm -hmm. call social social housing. Mm -hmm. Mag ang yung mga general contractors, they actually ang cost nyan for them to build it is twenty thousand pesos per square meters. Yun ang pinakamura twenty thousand pesos per square meters. Yung kung private yung mga and depending on the finishing, it will now range. Ngayon, ang rate ngayon is 30 all the way to 40,000 pesos per square meter. If you build using SIPs, itong structural insulated panels, uh, installed, is you could use the numbers of 13,000 per square meter. Wow. Nakatayo na yung bahay. Wow. Pero ito mas wow. Eh, binigyan na ako nitong assistant natin na ah. we only got two minutes left, dudes. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, Engineer Rene, then uh, Brother Paul, and then you, Brad Pitt. Uh, yung yung uh, parting words. So we could say, and maybe we have another guesting again on uh, another Saturday again. Maybe next month. Uh, Engineer Doria, go ahead. In 1971, 
uh, katulad ni ano, I was living in Gonzales, Pandacan, Manila. Yeah. And the earthquake occurs. I remember Ruby Tower vividly yeah. killing 1960s. so many people when it collapsed. Mm -hmm. 1969. That will not happen if you use our materials. It can save lives if you use these materials. And we're hoping that the future here in the Philippines will be using the structural insulate panels. So when they sleep, they will feel safe when earthquakes and typhoon occurs. My, my, my desire is to, uh, as been this desire for nine years, is to really have the Philippines be the hub of teaching other countries how to build affordable disaster resistant homes. Uh, we, we, we have the right product. We, ha we have a manufacturing here. We have the desire to teach and help the people. Let's let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Brad Pitt. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Engineer. Uh, you. Uh, I, I remember the Say hi oh. for me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ang advice ko lang sa inyo mga sir, sayang yung produkto po. As you are saying, mas mura, mas safe, mas lahat ng advantages nandyan. I-advertise. I-advertise. Kahit dito lang sa, kahit hindi sa mainstream, kahit dito lang sa social media, mas maraming tao rito ngayon kaysa sa television. Please, please, please. Kung kailangan niyo ako kahit walang bayad, i-endorse ko kayo. Thank you. And we can do a one minute ad or 30 minute ad. We'll take you up. Yeah. yeah. Kasi I believe I do some of the I believe about your sa inyong product. Anyway, thank you sa pag-guest niyo and sa uh -huh. ma advertise natin to. Thank okay. you KJ. Okay, thank you very much uh, engineer Doria, uh, Paul and uh, my good friend Brad Pitt, uh, it's again it happens so fast. If you think <laughs> safety is expensive, try an accident. Yeah. This is Peter J saying, <laughs> "Smile and be safe." Marayan pun salamat. See you next Saturday. Have a nice weekend. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, Paul. Every Saturday, 1 to 2 p.m., let's all listen to your TTJ Ferrer, the professional safety and skills advocate on air. All About Safety is brought to you by JLF Projects International Inc. Experienced and skilled people handling your sensitive and expensive machinery. They do rigging, lifting, painting, and transport your equipment safe and economical. If you think safety is expensive, train accident. Or you can call on them at j.ferrer at jlftransport.com.ph or 0917-862-4995. Not the top rated music